Hello, welcome back to Lion Draws. Uh, today I'm doing a multi-character sketch based on a bunch of animes and mangas. Uh, the first one you'll probably get really soon once I get to the hair, but I really like how this one turned out. The kind of shading that I was able to achieve, I really liked. Um, I tend not to go for like half body shades because I'm worried it make it look a little too jarring, but for this one, it turned out really well, and it's definitely encouraging for me to do it more in the future. Uh, it was also like a great way of learning like styles. For his hair, it's a lot more fluid and textured, so it was, it was definitely good to learn how to achieve that kind of effect. I also kind of like the angle, so the angle is pretty interesting. Uh, keep in mind that all these drawings are based on some material, so they're not uh, off the top of my head. I did look at someone else's drawings or the original source material for inspiration. Um, yeah, so keeping this in mind, I definitely liked uh, how I got this the side of his head to look because there's just maybe the way that the nose stuck out of the curvature of his head is something that I never really quite got before um i find this like two-thirds angle to be kind of difficult to create i'm not sure how to like get the feature of the cheek correct and whatnot but for this one it definitely turned out to my liking and as you can probably tell now it's todoroki from uh, my hiraka and so i about here i'm quite satisfied with what I got and now I'm going on to my second character uh, from my this is my favorite character from this series uh, and also my favorite character to play in Smash uh, Lucina or used to be my favorite character to play in Smash in Smash 4 she was my uh, what do you call it? she was my main uh, character now it's Ridley and uh, ultimate but I am really disappointed on how they kind of butchered her playstyle. I think her playstyle is super boring in this new one but uh, in Smash 4 I loved her playstyle and she maintains my favorite character uh, in the Fire Emblem series just because of that. Uh, and I've been experimenting more with kind of like chibi figures because I really want to get better at that uh, feel. So moving on to this third drawing, I'm doing kind of a full body sketch now. I've been getting a lot more comfortable drawing female body and proportions. Here I noticed that the head definitely seemed a little too large for the body, so I had to adjust this later on. I always had this tendency to overdraw the, like either the head was too small or the head was too large, but this time I caught it I was just like, something's wrong with this image, and then I realized that it was probably the head. Uh, so I immediately erased it and then thought of the correct size. The jacket, at first I didn't think it would look too good, uh, just mainly because I didn't think it looked super strange when I first outlined it. But after I filled in all the details, it looked quite good. So you can probably tell now, but this is Saber from Fate Zero or Fate Stay Night. Um, and this is just like casual streetwear, um, working all cool like. But I'm definitely getting better at drawing female proportions. The head is a little too long, but that definitely is something that I can improve on in the future. So for the final two images, I was kind of running out of ideas. I had an image, but I was thinking about saving it for the next time I sketch. So I was like, I'm just going to try out to draw more chibi figures to get a better understanding on how to draw this. So I looked at what I, what I believe is like the best artist for drawing chibi figures. And that's the artist for the manga Horomiya. Um, absolute lovely manga so like wholesome and i really wish they did another adaptation 
anime adaptation because I don't think they did the show justice with the first one. But every single chibi in the manga is adorable and so so simple yet so defined. Um, so this last drawing is also kind of like a chibi figure that is drawn in the manga. Uh, the head is kind of an interesting... I don't think they quite captured it right. It looks a tad creepy, I think, but it's like a style that I also want to learn because it's a style that the artist uses quite frequently and is well defined. And I think it looks really good when he does it. So this about concludes the sketch for this week. And I hope you enjoyed it.